This is my uh, 3D pathfinding application I've done. At the moment, it's, well, this version of it that I'm filming is four directions, but it's been coded as well to handle eight directions. Um, the 2D version, which you'll see in a moment, is using eight directions. And what it's doing is the blue tiles is shallow water. Um, not that hard to get through, but it will try and avoid it if it can. Um, the black tiles are wool, wools, the white tiles are nothing, and the green tile is the original starting point of the player, and the red is the enemy, and it's just pathfinding to get the player to the enemy um, in the quickest route possible. Um, if there isn't a route, then um, he just goes into the corner. Um, that's a slight bug that I'd need to fix. It only appears in the 3D one. Um, yeah, it's a small bug I need to fix. And immediately when he gets the target, he tries to go into that corner as well. Um, it's just that bug I need to fix. I'm not sure why it's happening. And, um,. It's randomly generating the world when I press the R button. Um, uh, when at the top left it says size in kilobytes, and I think at the moment this is 14. Um, that's the size of the array um, of the path that it's storing. Um, try to get it as small as possible. And this is the 2D version, which is using 8 directions. Um, same as before, but yellow tiles are the path, because there isn't actually any movement in the 2D version, it just finds the path. And as you can see here, um, it tried to go towards the red square, but there's water on there. And so it went around the water to get to the red square. Uh, it took a bit slower route. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is just yeah, just move the uh, green tile around, and you can see it's ca still calculating the route with the yellow tiles. If I totally surround the green tile, um, it will still go through it, and I just accidentally uh, put a red tile, the enemy there as well, by accident. But if there's no path available, or the uh, proper path is too hard to get to, it will just go through the yellow, I mean the blue, water. Um, the light yellow tiles are what tiles is checking to see if they're a better route. Um, that's just for debugging. And as you can see there, I gave it an option for another route, but it decided that route was too long, and so it still went straight through. So what I've done here is to see if it goes straight through again. Instead, it ignores the blue path because it's um, it looks worse route um, going through the water. It's a slower route for it, so it goes around the water there. And now I'm going to add some walls. Um, it'll completely try to avoid walls because it can't go through walls. And as you can see here, it took an even longer route to find its way around the walls. And yeah, it chose the path through the water there because it was quicker than going around. 
and this is just me showing it. in just different positions. And if I try and put the uh, green block inside um, an enclosed wall where there's no valid path to the red block, or likewise the red block to inside a wall, then I won't draw a path because there isn't one. As you can see there's no path, so I didn't draw anything. 